Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about properties of solutions. This will be the first quarter topic and learning competency number 8. This lesson is under the Matatag. the objectives by the end of the lesson 80 percent of the learners will be able to first is to define the term solution and identify its key components which is the solute and solvent and then demonstrate the ability to set up and conduct laboratory experiments to investigate the properties of solutions. And the last one is to appreciate the importance of understanding the solution properties by answering the reflection questions. In activating prior knowledge, let us begin by asking the students, what is a solution? A solution is a homogeneous mixture composed of two or more substances. It consists of a solute dissolved in a solvent. And then, ask another question. Can you name some examples of solutions? And examples may include the salt water, sugary drinks, copper sulfate in water, alcohol in water, and oxygen in the air. Then for the last question, what are the main components of a solution? The main components of a solution are the solute and the solvent. The solute is the substance that is dissolved in the solvent, while solvent is the dissolving medium that dissolves the solute. In establishing purpose of the lesson, so in this lesson, we will be exploring the key properties and characteristics of solutions and to emphasize the importance of understanding the solution properties as this knowledge is the fundamental to many areas of chemistry and science. In unlocking content vocabulary, so we are going to use the match type activity. In developing and deepening of understanding, so we are going to define what is a solution. So a solution is a homogeneous mixture composed of two or more substances, and it consists of a solute dissolved in a solvent. For the components of a solution, we have the solute and the solvent. For the solute, this is the substance that is dissolved in the solvent, while solvent, this is the dissolving medium that dissolves in the solute. The following are the factors that affecting the solubility. The first one is the temperature. So as temperature increases, the solubility of most solids and gases and liquids increases. The second factor is the pressure. So increasing pressure generally increasing the solubility of gases in liquid. And the last one is the polarity. So polar solutes tend to dissolve in polar solvents and nonpolar solutes tend to dissolve in nonpolar solvents. So a concentration, this is the measure of the amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent or a solution. The following are the different ways to express the concentration. The first one is the molarity. This is the moles of solute per liter of solution. The second one is molality. This is the moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. And the last one is mole of fraction. This is the ratio of the moles of the solute to the total of moles of all components in a solution. Colligative properties, these are the properties that depend on the concentration of the solute and not on its identity. 
In boiling point elevation, the presence of a solute in the solution increases the boiling point of the solution compared to the pure solvent. The extent of the boiling point elevation depends on the concentration of the solute. In freezing point depression, the presence of a solute in a solution decreases the freezing point of the solution compared to the pure solvent. The extent of the freezing point depression depends on the concentration of the solute. In osmotic pressure, osmotic pressure is the pressure that must be applied to a solution to prevent the flow of water molecules through a semi-permeable membrane. Osmotic pressure depends on the concentration of the solute in the solution.